Here we have a Sea Light Zeno Zenauer LED lighting. It's a H13 bulb, so it dims and brights for a 2014 Jeep Wrangler. And the stock lights are really, really dim. So we're gonna try out these Sea Light and see how they work. It also comes with that decoder. I've never had a set of LEDs that had the decoder and I've never had any um, dash lights or CAN bus problems with any of the regular ones. So hopefully with this it won't have problems either, but they look like they're pretty good quality. So let's see if we can get one in without taking out the front grill and headlight at all. I'm just gonna squeeze in past the horn here. I got the old one unhooked. Looks like we have power. And these don't have a fan, it's just that aluminum heat sink in it. So, seeing from dims to brights, it just lights up the other LED. From what I can see, I'm not sure what I got it on right now. Uh, it's on brights right now. Now it's on dims and it's lighting up the other LED, so I'm not sure how that works or it's the way the reflection works, but that's all I can tell. Thought I better do a quick comparison. So this is the dim. The lenses are dirty, but I mean that looks like a candle in there, a dim candle light. Um, there's next to nothing <laughs> reflecting. Uh, let's put the bright on quickly. And that's the bright. You can see a little more. So yeah, let's put that LED in and we'll see a difference, I'm sure. I got the power unhooked and it lights right down here by the horn. And I know they said, oh, we can take the grill off or the front, but I got small hands. So I'm just gonna do it this way, the other side might not work like that but this side will so let's do that so there's the big old um, conventional halogen and it looks like one filament might be burnt or something as the glass is all smoky no wonder why they're terrible <laughs> let's change them out and a quick comparison of size wise. Um, it's a little bit longer, not very much. And the lighting will be in the right spot from where the LEDs are placed. So on dims, it's lighting the front set or closest to me, which would be further into that cover so it would be dims and then on brights it lights up this rear set and then it should reflect easier out to, around everywhere but yeah they look good let's get it in there new LED is in there and as you can see it's blinding compared to the old ones there's a lot of light I think that's there's there and there's the candle there and the candle so if I face it this way that would be better so there we go there is a huge difference one thing I did notice is that the tab that locks onto the factory clip down in there can't really see it but it uh, this piece is a little doesn't go in as deep so I just took a utility knife and trimmed that off so I'll just take that off and then it will clip in and lock so they don't come apart 
So, with success of not having to take the front grill off and loosen the headlights or pull the headlights out, I was able to just take the airbox lid off and loosen off the power steering fluid tank, one 10 millimeter bolt. And you can reach down there with my small hands. And I got the ball out. Now I'm gonna put the new one in. Now that I got some better light outside here, you can see the LEDs. So it shines on the front one for dims. So then it's more in the that cup. And then it shines on the back ones for brights. And you can see the old bulbs, why they were so dim, because they're burnt. The lens was actually burnt inside. So they're doing next to nothing. There, you can see the filaments on that side and this side. It's all smoky and you can tell it's not like that. There we go. I don't think that's a factory option. They're just old garbage.